guys. Okay, if you don't see the live, that means that you were watching the replay. Um, if I could get you to comment in the comments below, replay or hashtag replay, so I can know who's watching. Um, if you are watching me on YouTube, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit the bell on one of these corners there. And then um, you will get notifications when I go live or when I post or upload a video. Thank you. Um, I would love it if you could share the video, whether you're watching it live or whether you are watching the replay. Um, I would love for people to see how this these work. These are our silk screen transfers. Um, first off, my name is Vicki and I am an independent designer with Chalk Couture. Um, I've been doing this for almost two years. These are silk screen transfers. They're not stencils, which means that where you see the white wordings and um, designs, those have silk screens in them. They do not have, an, it's not an open stencil. Okay, let me keep this shared. Um, Um, then we are, tonight we're going to ink. So I'm going to use our, this is Current Jam. It's the color. Um, I have a candy apple red, which is a really bright red, but I didn't want it to be bright red. I want it to be more of a darker, um, deep red. And we are going to ink on a 18 by 18 pillowcase. This is a canvas pillowcase. Um, they are sold on my website through Chocotor. You get two in the pack. We are going to on the one, and we are going to do this one, and it is Joy to the World. It is the music script for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one on the front of this, or on this side of the pillowcase, and then um, I'm going to let it dry like overnight, and I'm going to heat set it, and then I'm, I am going to be flipping it over, and there is another Christmas um, one that we have it says comfort and joy and I'm going to do that on the back side and that way you can have a pillowcase that doesn't matter however it gets thrown on your couch or sofa or chair or wherever it's going to be Christmassy on both sides so as you come in say hey tell me where you're watching from I'm going to let Facebook get this uh, posted I shared it myself but Last night I was doing a live and I was probably on for 10 minutes before it finally gave me notification that Facebook had posted it. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, let me pull up. Comments. Okay, so we are going to do this. We're going to and since we're doing it on cloth, we don't need to fuzz. So we're just going to open this transfer. This is an 18 by 18 transfer. It is not our biggest one. We have bigger ones. We have one more size bigger than this. because I will stand up and forget it's there and I'll be on here tomorrow telling you about the cast I have on my arm because I will have fallen. Not fun. Okay, or broken a hip <laughs> my age. So first off, what we're going to do, I'm going to put this over here. We have our ink mats. So I'm going to put this on the inside. And it just it helps hold the material in place because it's sticky. You can see it's really sticky. And it also helps if there's any kind of bleeding, which I can tell you right now, these are Chakator um, pillowcases and it's not going to leak through. But if you're doing something thinner, like t-shirts or something like that, you're going to want to use an ink mat or, you know, you don't have to buy the ink mat, but you can, you can use like a cardboard or... You can even use a Cricut mat. Hi Julia, hi Jerry. There we go, Facebook finally notified. Oh, I'm gonna fight with this. And you wanna make sure that you're folding it so the sticky side's on the outside, not on the inside, otherwise it will stick together and you will never get it apart. Hi 
Christine. Welcome, guys. I just folded it up like a little taco there, and, which reminds me that's what we had for dinner. Yum. We're so good. Okay. This fits perfectly down inside here. And then you're just gonna. So this also helps. I ironed this a little bit because these come in a pack of two. So they are crunched up and folded really tightly in this packaging. So when you take them out, there's actual creases everywhere. So I took my heat press and ironed it some. But once you put this sticky mat in here, you can see it takes out pretty much all of the wrinkles. There's a few of them there, but nothing major. We are going to take this off of here. We're just gonna peel it back. This is a fairly big transfer. It's our second to our largest transfer. So I wanna go slowly because I do not want it to go back onto itself until I get it fuzzed at least. You take it off and go really slow, especially right at the end here. it just a little bit this is brand new and it is so sticky that I don't want it if it sometimes I've had it stick to the material that I'm doing and it has left some of the uh, sticky residue on there so I'm just gonna put a little bit of fuzz on the back of this not a lot because I still want it to stick somewhat to the Pillowcase. Okay, get it centered here. Okay, I got to take these off to see. Grab them in nuts. And this is the zipper part, and it always has a little bit of a bulkiness right here. I always try to whatever I'm putting on there to make sure that it's not on the top of this because it can cause leakage or uh, bleeding because of the way that it sits on the pillowcase. And when I ink, I always try to go in one direction. So I start at the top and I pull it down as I'm going. And with ink, it is not going to dry as quickly as the chalk so I don't have to do I like I do the chalk and peel I don't have to do that with ink because it's not going to dry in it's not going to do any of that it's going to take a while to dry itself so. ink is always the right consistency so I don't have to put water in it I don't have to stir it up and spray it I try to make sure that it's only on, I got a big glob there, and it, there's some that I wiped it off back there. Okay, so here we go. What the heck is on there? And here we go. So you don't want to press too hard, but you want to make sure that it's getting down inside there. Kind of a medium pressure.
like I said, I picked this color because it's, I have the candy apple red, but I wanted it to be, I didn't want it to be that bright red. I wanted it to be more of a deeper color. So this is Current Jam, the color of this one. And like I said, I try to go in one direction, but when you get down here, sometimes you can't get, you have to kind of go at an angle sometimes to get in that little area. Because I don't want to get it off, I don't want to do this and then get off and get ink on the edges. You just got to be careful. And the only reason I do that is when you ink, especially on like this kind of stuff, is when you're pulling it like this sometimes the transfer can kind of lift a little bit and this keeps any kind of bleeding down by doing it in one direction ink on my fingers are you shocked I don't know why I can't do ink I can never do ink without getting it all over me ink on my glasses. You guys are kind of quiet tonight. I'm just kind of scraping it off and don't want to scrape too hard though because I don't want to push that to cause bleeding. So I'm going to try and move some of that ink around. I did go sideways down here. There's some words right here at the edge, and I didn't want to go this way because I will definitely end up going off. 
getting all the way to the end and then messing it up. And then before you take it off, you just want to make sure that it's on all of the, covered on all the silk screen. Looks like I did a good job. Guess we'll find out when we lift it up, huh? Okay. What kind of material are you putting on? Putting it on a canvas uh, pillowcase. This is a can the. You can get them off of my website. They come in a pack of two. They're 18 by 18. I'm going to take and get this off. I'm going to close this up, and then, of course, I have to clean my fingers off because I got ink all over them. Inky, ink, ink. You don't want to touch anywhere that you don't want ink, so. This is the this is the pain part because you know it's just me and if I had two pairs of hands another pair of hands it'd be so much easier but it's just me it's just me oops where am I That's what I mean by having your, oops, taking it off slowly. A few spots that didn't quite go through so that it's there, but it's really light. You can't really see it.
look, because I got lots of ink on there. And then put this in the sink here. Hold on. Hold it up here for you. Make sure I don't have any inky poo. So it's just the words and it's like a sheet music to joy to the world. I will let this heat, I will let this heat sit, I will let this sit overnight and then I will heat set it and then tomorrow night we will do the other half, um, but we'll do it in a different color. So I did get some ink kind of on here somehow, but it's where the zipper is and once I get the pillow in you won't even be able to see it. So, can you wash it? Okay, it's not chalk. This isn't chalk. Um, what I normally use is chalk, but this is um, ink. This is ink. So this is going to be permanent. I'm going to let it sit overnight. And then, um, obviously, I'll take the, the mat and mat out. And then I will heat set it. You can heat set it with a regular iron on, like, medium heat. And then it's like four minutes on either side, which is four minutes on this side, then you flip it inside out and another four minutes and you want to use parchment paper over the top of it. And I'm sorry, I didn't shut off my notifications. And then um, once it's heat set, it's permanent and it stays on there. You can wash it, use it, whatever. So, so yeah, if I had used chalk, the chalk would come off. There's no way to heat, there's no way to make it permanent on uh, fabric. So it's ink that I use on fabric. Like I do, did the um, pot holder the other night. It's done with ink, and it, once it's heat set, it's permanent. But the chalk, like I did on these projects back here, those are chalk. And um, if they get wet and I wipe them, they will come off. So, hope that answers your question, Julia. Hi, Molly. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get that cleaned up. It took quite a bit of ink. Surprised. So I'm going to go ahead and get this um, put away so it can, thank you, um, it can sit and dry for overnight and then tomorrow when we come on before we do the other side I will show you how to um, heat set it. So you'll do that and then we will do the um, comfort and joy on the other side and I don't know if we'll do it in, I don't know what color, I don't want to do it in the red again, maybe green or something like that. Anybody have any questions before I head on out? Oops, laying stuff around. If not, then I'm gonna go ahead and hop off and I will see you all hopefully tomorrow night. Um, it'll be a little later tomorrow night because it's Friday. I have my chalk group that I have to do a live in at eight o'clock. So it'll be around 8.45 probably before I get on here. Excuse me. So, thank you all. Have a great night. Oh, good, Joy. I'm glad it did. If you guys ever have any questions when I'm not live or anything, you can always just shoot me a message here. I'll be happy to answer them. Have a great night. God bless. Take care. Stay safe.